Ted, I'm glad I caught you. As I've just, um, I've just been through the old walled garden and uh, it's a bit of a jungle. It's really terrifically overgrown and I was just wondering if perhaps oh. it was... Sorry, sir, I don't seem to have the energy so I used to have at least, so I... I've been mean to get around. D no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. You, you misunderstand me, Ted. I wasn't implying for a moment. No, I, uh, this laissez faire approach to gardening is, is really quite the thing. Uh, return to nature, uh, organic whatnots, and, uh, and doodads. You know, I sometimes think that this over manicured. No, no, sir. So, what I'm saying is, uh, I'm old and I'm tired, sir, and what with Mrs. Ted being gone. I was thinking maybe it's time for me to go home, so back to Ireland. Yeah, Ted, you can't! That's... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you like that, Ted. I, I simply meant to say, Ted, you, you can't. I, you've done so much here and there's still so much to do. Well, I've arranged for somebody to come in and help out, so I wouldn't be leaving you in the lurch. Well, nobody could ever replace you, Ted. Uh, it's not just your green fingers, it's your brown hat. Uh, it, 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 it's you. It, it's so much of, of you, your colourful, vibrant personality in, in all the work you've done here. To think that someone could just walk in and take your place. I mean, I might as well just retire myself, close the house and the grounds, and uh, then it, in a... Do you want me to start working on the garden? No, no, that's, that's all right. Uh, have a rest. Have a sit down. I, I could get a, a cup of tea or something, or maybe we could share some beers. As, so I, I do apologise. I'm Ralph Alona, the, the, the owner. Uh, Ralph. And you must be... Robert, sir. No, please, uh, call me Ralph. It is my name. I so rarely hear it spoken. I wouldn't be known about that, sir. No, no it was presumptuous of me. <laughs> well, I said, tell you what, why don't I uh, show you around? Um, through here are the greenhouses where we grow green things, and then there's the, the vegetable garden. Come along, I shan't bite. And there's the vegetable garden where we grow many types of vegetables. Mm. Mm. Uh, it really is marvellous, Robert. That's uh, really splendid digging you're doing there. And, uh, what, what, what would you call that, that you've dug there? It's a hole, sir. Really, you would call it exactly the same as I would. Uh, there isn't a special gardener's term for it. No, sir, it's, it's just a hole. <sighs> Marvellous that we have so much in common. Oh, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> Are you, um... you interested in pop music at all, Robert? I wouldn't really know about that, sir. No, no, no. It's just that uh, I have a couple of tickets for uh, for Westlife, and I was just <laughs> yes, sir. I I hear they they're fantastic at Acapulco singing. Yes. Well, um, maybe next time, Robert. I have things to be doing, so I shall run along, and I shall leave you to your uh, your digging. Robert, Is it, sorry, um, I was just wondering if you if you might find some use for this rather lovely old leather jerkin and uh, these boots. They're very very practical. I tried and tried to get Ted to wear them, but uh, he seemed happier in his tatty old coat and wellies. No, sir, I I really need to be getting on with the drainage on the lower field, and I I think that the wellies will be most practical. This will cost you no best. I. So I really shouldn't have... Oh, be off now, then, sir. Yes, thank you, Ted. <laughs> yes, so the lower field, we must uh, put our heads together, Robert. No, not literally, of course. It is almost a bog down there. This has been a constant thorn in my side for years. I mean, the hours I've spent down there with Ted. Ted? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Ted! Wait! 